Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dr. Deuce and today's video is all about the use of headphones in music production from recording to mixing and referencing as well as for just listening pleasure. So let's get into it. Okay, so I recently touched on the importance of choosing the right type of headphones in a video I did not long ago about setting up your own home recording studio. Now, I just wanted to spend a bit more time on this because it is a very important aspect of the whole music production process. Now, first of all, the recording side of things. When you're recording, you want to be comfortable. You also want your artist, whether it be a singer, drummer, or any other musician in your studio, you want them to be comfortable. Now, if you're gonna be working on a big project and you're gonna be spending hours and hours in isolation just using headphones the quality of the headphones really matters not only from a comfort perspective but also from the sound pressure levels and frequencies that you're going to be subjecting yourself and your artist to for the duration of your session it's therefore really important that you choose appropriate headphones for this task now as far as mixing goes there's an age-old discussion about whether or not you can mix in headphones well of course you can mix in headphones but consider this parallel if you wanted to draw a picture of of a flower bed and you chose to draw that picture in a dark room with just the light from the TV on. Of course you could do it, but when you switch the lights back on or you go out into the daylight, what do you expect to see? The shapes will be there, but the definition won't and the colors won't be right. So unless you're planning on only looking at that picture in that same dark room with that same level of light, then it's fine. However, if you want to view and appreciate the picture in all its color and glory, in all different situations, you wanna be in the right sort of environment. Now, the same principle applies to mixing with headphones. You can get a great mix out of headphones, but consider that your listeners will need to be listening in the same make and model of headphones to be able to hear and appreciate the levels and balances that you've set because you've restricted the mix to those headphones. Of course, you can be lucky and over time, develop an understanding of how those particular headphones respond to different frequencies and therefore find a nice average. And of course, your mix will sound decent in many situations. However, that's probably not the ideal option. My encouragement is always to try and mix using monitors. Then you can reference using headphones and earbuds and in your car and in your home stereo and then find that best average whilst going back to the studio and making the adjustments. And finally, listening with headphones just for pleasure. I believe in today's society, more of us consume music and sound through earbuds and headphones than any other medium. If it's not already there, we're definitely on the way to that situation. So it's very likely that you will be using headphones for pleasure. I encourage you to stick to the 60-60 rule, which is listening at 60% of maximum volume on the device and for no more than 60 minutes in any one sitting. I'd say 30 minutes, give your ears a rest and then go again. In terms of headphone options, Bayer Dynamic DT100s are an excellent choice. They've been used for decades by some of the greatest artists ever to record. They're very comfortable and give you a nice balanced response, especially if you're recording vocals. My favorites, of course, are my Bayer Dynamic DT250s. These are super, very lightweight, very comfortable. And like I said before, sometimes I completely forget I've got headphones on when I'm using these ones. Of course, you can grab some of the cheaper option, like something like a Sennheiser. The key thing is finding something that's lightweight, comfortable, and gives you a nice response in terms of frequencies. Of course, you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on very expensive headphones. One thing I'd say to you is that many of those expensive headphones are designed to make your music sound great. Of course, you want your music to sound great, but you don't want the headphones to enhance the sound or fool you into thinking a rubbish mix sounds really good or a really good mix hasn't got enough bass. The frequency curve on many of these headphones have been adjusted to really add extra drive and bass to music. So therefore it can be a misrepresentation of what your mix actually sounds like. What I'd recommend is if you're gonna get some headphones, especially for your music production and for running off rough mixes, get something with a flatter response. There are headphones out there made specifically for that type of role. I'd recommend you look for something like that. Anyway, the most important thing I wanna to get to you is this. Make sure you look after your hearing. That's the most important message right here. If you wanna stay active in this music production game, you need to be able to hear. So look after your hearing. And as always, if you found this video useful, remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. It's always great hearing from you. 
And like the rest of the MTTC squad, remember to switch on your notification bell so you can get an alert when my next video drops. Until next time, you look after yourself. I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.